much for anybody Don't ever trade your soul Don't even listen to him He don't know nothing at all Try not to get too involved But really it's breaking my heart Hi guys! How are you guys doing? It's your girl Yefi B Welcome and welcome back to my channel If you guys are new here, hi there! Please subscribe to my channel and join the family And if you are a returning subscriber, you guys are welcome back Note that I give a shout out at the end of my every videos. If you want to stand a chance to get a shout out on my videos, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, turn on your notifications, and once you do that, comment down below. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a story time of how I was set up by a friend by a friend. I feel like okay, some of these going to actually benefit from this thing. So I'm actually going to be telling you guys um what's up what happened how i got set up by a friend by a supposed friend someone i usually held there to my heart crazy okay i'm going to be working with my other and telling you guys about um what happened and just in case i'm looking down this is what i'm actually doing guys to start we moved around a lot when I was like much younger and so we moved a whole lot so I changed schools a lot this was when I was still actually staying in Lagos or we were still staying in Lagos and I was going to I'm not going to say name of the school and I'm not even going to say name of the person we are just going to call her then for the purpose of this video Jed and I were very very good friends and I think it was in GSS2 I was usually in GSS2 then and I, I don't honestly how we became close. Eh? I cannot even remember. We were so close to the point that we used to do everything together. We we're six partners. We used to gist, we used to play. I used to go to her house and you know, like all that stuff. It was two teenagers enjoying their lives until one fateful day. So to be very honest, eh, till now. I honestly do not know what I did wrong or what I could have possibly done to hurt her to the point where she decides that okay this is what she wants to do next this is the best thing she can do for people like us that actually wear that clothes I feel like it's something that you could literally just sit me down and literally tell me okay this is what you did to me I'm not happy about it I don't like it and this will do that again I'm better still, I don't want to talk to you anymore, please. It's not hard. I would not. Maybe back then I was just a school, so I might have cried about it. But at the end of the day, we'll move on and that'll be it. It was like a weekend and I went to a house on Saturday. We had plans to actually meet on Saturday. And then I went to her place on that Saturday. And she opened the gate for me. I went inside. We were chilling. Um, everything was fine. We were playing games, um, new card games. I thought we watched movies, we ate snacks, and it was just like so much fun. Like it was just okay, a way for me to actually get away from my house. When I got home, my parents were not around. Neither were any of us siblings except our younger brother. So it was just us in the house, or so I thought. Until one guy from nowhere came out. I'm like. Ah. I thought she said nobody was at home. There was just your brother and you. And she's like, oh, that she completely forgot that it's even a, it's her cousin. Her cousin has actually been around for like three days now. He was pretty sleeping. That's why we did not hear anything. I didn't really think anything of it because I'm like, it's not my house. So I'm just like, okay, I never knew that someone else was around. You get that kind of thing. And then the guy came to the living room. He came to um join us i think at that point we were watching a movie actually and then he came to join us he introduced himself i introduced myself we smiled and then that was it halfway into the movie he came to sit down beside me i didn't really think anything of it to be very honest it got to the point where okay it will get to one scene that is not even that funny in the movie so he was just he just burst out laughing and then start placing his hands on me on different areas and i'm like you get all those kind of people that okay they cannot just keep their hands to themselves like if they want to either talk they have to touch you or if they want to laugh they have to hit you and you know stuff like that so i thought he was just 
honestly that kind of person but it was too much he would laugh and then like, <laughs> and he would touch my laughs and then he would slide his hands down my laps and i'm like what's happening let me even show you guys very well like he would speak let's say i was like this he would literally laugh like or let's say everybody's laughing at one thing on the tv and then he will laugh and it will be like <laughs> and then he will slide his hands down my legs I was uncomfortable with it at first I thought maybe it was just a slight mistake but then when he continued at first he was just normal hitting like hit me hit me here I'm like okay but like I just ignored that until he did it again and again I just took an excuse and I said I wanted to stand and hit myself and so I went to the bathroom and I was there when I got there, I actually wanted to be so I peed and then I was there for like a few more minutes until Zed comes to knock on the door like Yes, me, I found that you dream. I'm like, oh, I'm coming, I'm coming that I just wanted to pee. And then she's like, Can she come inside? I'm like, sure, 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 come inside. The door opens, this guy comes inside. Rude, I'm there. It's like you don't know that I'm here. And say, Oh, sorry, sorry, I don't know. It's like she says, excuse me. And then he's like Come here, like why are you even acting like a child? Like I've been making advances and then you are acting like a fucking child. And then in my head, I'm like, that's because I'm a fucking child. But I didn't say anything. I was just looking at this guy talk bullshit because honestly, it was weird. I was weirded out by everything that was happening. And I was just watching everything unfold. I don't say I was stuck because I'm like, what he's saying. I've actually not been doing a good job talking and hitting. I don't think I can do it. I, I honestly don't think I can do it at the same time. <laughs> After he did that, I'm like, excuse me, I want to come outside. He just pushed me back and he's like, wait. I'm like, bro, excuse me. That's how this guy just pounced on me, bro. And then we started struggling, we started struggling. And I'm like, Zed! I'm calling her name, Zed! Zed! I'm not hearing anything, literally. I was wearing a button shirt and some leggings that day he was so aggressive to the point that almost he, he caught two of my bottom buttons and at this point everything just like seemed real to me and i was very very scared he, like, did he just throw me almost see that strength when that strength came from that actually struggled with him for a bit it was god <laughs> because my mom was struggled and struggled and struggled and struggled. He was even hitting me again. I was just, it was, it was crazy. That's how Zed comes into Batman and she's like, leave her alone, leave her alone. I don't know if she was part of the setup. I don't know if she was part of the plan for her to actually come and pretend like, okay, she's trying to help, you know. I don't know if it was part of their plan or if it was actually real. The only reason why I'm saying I don't know if it was a plan or if she just got so guilty. Like if she was feeling so guilty that she actually wanted to stop things for real. So she comes in and then she's like, you should stop, you should stop. So everybody is shout dragging each other. Oh no, that's how I just got one tiny escape and do you I ran out of this place <laughs> with the speed of light? I just wanted to be out of that place and I ran out, ran out of the gates and I was so fast. Like <laughs> it's it's very, very crazy when something bad is happening. That speed, that strength. To actually, honestly, even for her coming inside to actually show me a little bit, I don't think I would have been able to escape. But like that thing that she actually did made me just find a little bit of escape. That's why I just ran out of the house and I just kept running. And I honestly did not go there with anything. I only went with my self, my slippers, I think an anchor chip. I don't think I left there with my anchor chip too. But yeah, I just kept running and running. So I got to my house. When I got to my house, I was panting like crazy. I just didn't even know if they ran after me to be honest, and I don't even want to know. I just kept running. When I was at my house, my parents were at the money, everything I made were like, What happened? I'm like, Nothing, I was running. They're like, Why were you running? That can't you walk? I'm like, ah. I just felt like when I'm just, I'm like, You should leave me alone. I'm like, I just wanted to enter my room. So I entered my room, room, and I was just like, Panting so hard until I could finally breathe normally. And I don't after everything, I never said anything to my parents because. What was I supposed to say? How everything would have been escalated? Like at that point, I just wanted everything to die down. But luckily for me, we we're actually moving. We were moving very, very soon. I didn't even had limited time in the school, which was why we were even trying to get so much um, 
time we we're trying to spend so much time together because i was leaving i was just praying that oh well, let it just be time let me use this because i honestly don't want to see her on that monday i honestly did not know what i was going to do when i saw her thankfully she actually did not come to school that day she didn't come to school the next day but she came to school on wednesday everybody was like ah what happened to you why are you people not talking like, did you guys fight i don't even want to tell anybody she was when i was telling them i'm not in that not 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 i want to see that's how the whole thing ended and then when we went the exam that was the end and i was just so happy when i left that school because i honestly hated her guts i hated the fact that i was in the same place as somebody like that and the only reason why I'm even coming out to actually say this thing is because honestly, you need to be very, very careful of people that you call your friends. And even in recent times, I've had friends, supposed friends, come and go because some people know some of them don't even have your best interest in heart. One thing about ladies there is that they are very, very funny. Ladies are very funny and they can pretend they're very very pretentious people they can pretend to be something they are not so you just really need to be careful of people that you call friends because not everybody has your best interest in heart not everybody likes you like they claim to so you just really need to be careful in as much as everything is going smoothly in as much as everything is just like always you are enjoying each other's friendship and all that just have an open mind that okay anything can happen and also be careful be very very careful that's literally all i can say like it's not only guys that we need to be careful we need to be careful of even our fellow girls <laughs> so guys um that is the end of my story if you enjoyed today's video please give it a huge thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't Today's shout out goes to love. I see you. Thank you so much for being an amazing subscriber. I love you. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.